Today we're going to be inserting a Foley catheter on Mrs. Morgan Brown. And Mrs. Brown, I'm going to check her chart and verify my order. Um, I can see that Mrs. Brown came in with post-op sepsis and wound dehiscence. And we are um, going to be inserting a Foley catheter to continuous drainage and notifying the physician if the urine output is less than 30 mils per hour. I'm also going to be sending a urinalysis and culture and sensitivity. The reason we are doing the Foley insertion is because we need very accurate intake and output to watch her fluid balance um, because of the sepsis. So I have Morgan Brown, medical record number, and her date of birth, 8 4 and she is allergic to morphine. I have to check allergies because in my kit, I know that I have latex products and the cleansing, um, the cleansing contents has iodine based. And so I wanna make sure she doesn't have any allergies to latex, shellfish, or iodine. So I'm going to take a label from the chart so that I can identify Miss Brown. I'm going to gather my equipment. I'm gonna wash my hands. And I'm going to take, make sure that I have a basin, a towel, and a wa and washcloths because I want to clean her perineum and visualize the urethra before I'm sterile. And then I'm going to get my Foley catheterization tray. And it is sterile. It has the complete contents of what I need to insert the Foley. It's 16 French with a 5 milliliter balloon, and it's not expired. Okay, so I'm going to go in to the room and I'm going to clean my patient after I've identified her and then I'm going to set up for my Foley insertion. Hi, Ms. Brown, I'm Kim, I'm gonna be your nurse. And I know we already got you cleaned up. Let's wash my hands a minute. And again, I'm going to be um, inserting a Foley catheter. At first I want to just verify who you are. Can you tell me your name, Morgan Brown? Okay, and your date of birth? 84, 1970. Good, okay, and your medical record number is the same as what I have on my label. And can you tell me your allergies? Morphine, okay. Do you have any latex allergies, iodine, shellfish sensitivities, or tape? No, none of those. Okay, great. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to put this catheter, it's, a, it's like a little tube that's going to go through your urethra and sit in the bladder, and it's going to continually drain your urine. And the doctor ordered that so that we can measure your output very carefully, and you don't have to strain to get up into the bathroom and use too much oxygen by doing those activities, okay? Um, you may feel a little bit of pressure. Do you have any questions for me? No, will it hurt? No, it's not gonna hurt, just a little bit of pressure on insertion, okay? Um, I already cleaned you up, and so I visualized the urethra. I'm gonna go ahead now, and I'm going to lower your blankets and help you get into a position that's comfortable for the, and so I can visualize. Put your head down. Okay, and you're warm enough? Yes. Okay, very good. And we've got the door closed, and we have some privacy. I'm going to raise the bed up. Okay. And I'm going to have you just bend your knees up and then just let them kind of gently fall out. I'll help you with that. Very good. Okay. First fold out, second folds to the side, last fold towards me. I'm not going to turn my back on my sterile field while so I put on my sterile gloves.
sterile drape, shiny side down. Wrap my hands and the drape. Okay, lift your bottom up for me. Very good. Just my tray on my field. I am not going to use the fenestrated drape. And I'm going to get my kit set up. Open my cleansing swabs. Prepare my lubricant. And grab my paper off, having control over the catheter. And then I am going to, this is, um, latest research shows that the balloon does not need to be checked because opening the balloon may cause trauma to the urethra. Our skill still says we are going to check the balloon. Know what your hospital policy is. Okay, and it's intact. And I'm laying the catheter into the lubricant. Okay. And then I'm going to take my cleaning solutions. And first, I'm going to spread the labia and lift gently up. And I'm going to, with the first swab, go to the far side up and down and drop. And the second swab, the side is closest to me, front to back and drop. And the last swab right in the center, front to back and drop. I'm going to take the catheter and I'm going to advance. I'm looking for yellow urine return and I see urine in the tube. I'm going to advance it two more inches, grasp it with my non-dominant hand, hold it steady. How are you doing? Any pressure, any pain? Oh, just, it's uncomfortable, but I don't feel anything. Okay, great. You're almost done. Inflate the balloon, let go of the catheter, and take off the syringe. The syringe will go into sharps, and I'm not sterile anymore. You did great. Okay, now I'm going to gently tug that. I'm going to use a tube attachment device and attach it to the leg. I'm going to lower the bag below the bladder and attach it to a non-movable part of the bed frame and then clean my patient up. You did great, Miss Brown. I can already see that you have 400 milliliters of pale yellow urine coming out of there. You have some bladder distension. Did you have, felt like you must, you had to, must have gone to the rest in there. Okay, gonna get you comfortable. Take off those gloves. Put your head back up. Yes, please. And then you get your down into the lowest position and make sure you have your calling. Very good. Okay, and I can see that I have 800 milliliters of clear yellow urine in the drainage bag. I'm going to throw away all of my garbage and wash my hands. Okay, can I get you anything else, Mrs. Brown? No? Okay. I know that catheter may feel like it's uncomfortable, but usually you'll be a little desensitized to it and it shouldn't uh, bother you any longer, okay? I'll be back to check. Okay. And then I'm going to document on Mrs. Brown that I inserted a 16 French Foley catheter using sterile technique. I inflated the balloon with five milliliters of sterile water and she tolerated the procedure well and I receive 800 milliliters of clear yellow urine back in the Foley catheter that I will document in my output.